Hello everyone, I'm Rihanna Bahamut and welcome back to Warriors of Rochi 3 Ultimate. Last time we went and saved Dion Wei from a sticky end at our own blades. Today we are off to the Battle of Chengdu to help out Liu Bei and Iyasu T Iyasu Tokugawa. Hey. So let's just dive on in. Well that's how reinforcements work in this world, they always just teleport in right next to you. So how does the head go off from the main body exactly? I've always wondered that. I'm pretty much the Gary Stew of this series, so just let me handle it. Jin to so yeah, this whole mission is a bit of a clusterfuck. Basically, we have three groups running throughout the mission, and if the leaders of any of them drop, it's game over. But they are a bit sturdier than your average unit, so it's not like they're in that much danger. But still, you gotta run around a lot to try and fight off everything you can. And Dong Zhuo's back! How long has it been since we last saw the bastard? Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Dang it. And honestly, I don't really remember this mission all that well, so I'm probably not going to be taking the most efficient route possible. Yelena, you can't attack. But then again, so does Akuni. I mentioned it in her Why the Hell Do We Care, but I've never really liked playing as Akuni, even back in the first game. Her attacks are just so oddly ranged. I mean, most of them are very short, like with our little spinny move there. And yet some of them are actually pretty decent, like when she tosses her umbrella around. Well, when does he not? I'm not entirely certain which area I'm supposed to go to next, but... Probably should help out Liu Bei since, well, it's game over if he dies. And of course that means lots of just roaming around. I'll probably end up speeding this kind of stuff in post, like I did in some of the other levels. Although at least we're already almost there for Liu Bei. It's all the other ones that are going to be a pain in my butt. It's actually swapping Aya for a bit. Aya is actually a lot more fun to use than Okuni just from the fact that she has so many different magic attacks. And let's get her ultimate Maso out of the way too, as she just magics the hell out of everything around her. And nothing can't be cured with more sky lasers. Admittedly, her normal attack string really isn't all that great until the last couple of hits. But her charge moves are also pretty awesome. Ooh, we got ourselves a speed up. That'll make running around even faster. So, how about we just turn around and go back around up? Uh, I do believe this is... South Tao's route? And then we can just kill everything uh, in the reverse order, that way we won't have to worry about him anymore. Until the ev inevitable ambush happens and we have to run our ass across the map to help him out. Oh, 
Also, in case you missed it last episode, Zhang Wei is now actually only level 20... I think he's 23, 24, something like that. So he's actually on par with Okuni and Aya. No, you won't. You're already dead. And I'm guessing he's just... Aw, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, hey, look, enemy reinforcements. Who would have thought? I'm already there. But it is kind of funny how Jungle is still overpowered just due to his weapon, even though he's on par with everyone else. Yes, yes, you wretched human. So, how exactly did you just warp the Arbalest in there, man? I mean, think about it, it's kind of like how the enemy's reinforcements just appear, except for now we're evolving heavy siege weaponry. Okay, where's my horse? Here's horse! And apparently Aya has a thing for Liu Bei. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Although, thankfully, I don't think Sao is going to be in any form of real danger since I've already cleared out his entire path. So it looks like Sao is going to be meeting up with Liu Bei in a second, so that means we only need to worry about Ieyasu for now. And probably whatever that large group of officers are in the middle of the map, right next to that castle place. I sincerely doubt that, Mamushi. And I knocked him out of my myself. Looks like we're done here, and we only have to worry about those guys in the bottom left who are obviously going to just rush out now. And they actually did start moving as I said they were. Honestly, I wasn't expecting them to do that immediately. They usually say something before they start on their run. And now I can just jump on their heads like Mario. So. How about I interest you in some sky laser? My gosh, Akuni, your damage sucks. But we already got the other, well, at least one of the other guy. Come on, man. Does Lu Bei mean so little to you? Oh yeah, and some of the history things. Okuni is, well, she's one of the notable figures for creating, I do believe it's Kabuki Theater. It was either Kabuki or no, I can't recall exactly. And she was actually fairly heavily ostracized for the fact that she uh, played male roles. Yeah, it totally is Dongjuo. Seriously, even without the true Maso, uh giant blast, she still does tons of damage with her Maso. And where are you running off to, man? Seriously, get back here. Wait, what? Do I need to queue up yakety sacks for you? Jiang Wei, handle this. You're faster than everybody else. Oh, 
There we go. Holy crap. So, aren't you guys gonna move at all? You're late because you got there ahead of everyone and took a nap. It looks like our guys are actually kicking the crap out of... Did they actually beat Dong Zhuo without me? I will admit, I was not expecting the AI to actually handle an enemy. Not like I have a whole lot to do here outside of just trying to smack random minions, I guess. Oh crap. Why are you here? We aren't even doing anything involving Dodgy. Why are you trying to stop civilians from running away, Susano? That doesn't make sense for you. Ow, ow, oh crap. Um, that never happened. I say something for you, bitch. Oh, looks like Susano is dead. Shame about that. You keep on saying that, but we keep on kicking your ass. You're dead! How are you talking? Yes, I know! I already did that! Didn't we already go through all of this? Why isn't this level over yet? Seriously, why why is the level continuing? Did I break the level? Am I gonna have to do this? Okay, there we go. どれほど重き<笑> It's not like we need to ask his permission at this point. I mean, how many times have we kicked his ass? We didn't even see the Hydra. What are you talking about? 
聖子が蹂躙される様が見て取れる復興までには長い時がかかりましょうですが彼らの命を休んじられたのですから But I thought I got the peasants killed. 我らの勝利と言えましょうサノオ殿の介入があったものにこれで小田原城に向かうことができます Wait, what? うんこれを買うと大阪城に向かった者らも小田原に集い始めている人と王者の総力戦がこれより始まるのだ Hey, we got the Gary Stew of the Three Kingdoms back. And of course, good old Liu Bei. And Dong Zhuo has apparently joined up. Eh, whatever. And the final of the three great unifiers of Japan. ショクトトクガモコロカンのシカモ大阪城の信長らタノショートはこの地で合流を果たす Well I guess we know who we're recruiting at Hulao Gate now 後小田原城で王者討伐軍を再編する予定だ決戦の時は近いぞ And it Yeah it doesn't look like we have any new missions to Unlock. So that's the end of this episode. We finally got Liu Bei and Ieyasu's groups to join up with us. And next time, not sure what side mission we're doing next time, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be an ultimate only version、uh, mission. So, see you all again next time, I hope.